Well, 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 would you look at this here? So this is why we don't see Marcel or I guess contrived or controlled storylines on Love and Marriage Huntsville. I like to know that, that what we are watching is authentically the show because, you know, we was getting tired of Marcel gaslighting us too. It was almost like we were a part of Love and Marriage Huntsville, the way that Marcel kept ducking and dodging and side swiping the questions of his fidelity in his marriage or not. Now I get it, thanks to this article. So Carl King explains in this article, I don't get so involved in terms of what the narrative is because that's the mistake a producer can make if they don't follow what's real. So imagine if I was like, no, you got to answer the question. It, would be, it wouldn't be as interesting as seeing him not answer it. And I think that's super fascinating to watch. It really is. It really, but literally, it is fascinating to watch because I really feel like that is how some couples and some marriages really are. Like, it could be the man or the woman that's literally doing the same thing as Marcel. That's why we find it as, like frustrating too as the viewers. Like, come on, Marcel, stop. But I feel like we all may have a Marcel in our family, like an uncle that's like Marcel or a coworker or a boss or, you know, something like Marcel. Like, he does seem like a, a person that we may know or may have come in contact with. Somebody that likes to not answer questions directly so you know what that tells me tisha has to be the producer of her life tisha has to get the truth out of marcel or at least get an answer that will make her feel good and not have her crying and not have her having her feel frustrated and her husband wiping away her tears from what all the people that trying to destroy her, her marriage is trying to say so and that that goes to show that we really are the producers or the ceos of our lives like nobody is doing anything to us it's up to us to take control it's up to us to say action Uh uh-uh cut uh, let me do a, a, a dress rehearsal. Let me do a recasting. You don't fit here. So let me move you this way. Let me change the scene. <laughs> let me, you know, so it really helps. I, 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 I like what Carlos is doing. You know, he's not going to force Marceau to say it if Tisha's not. You know, really, this is the show is happening exactly how is it would happen in real life, basically. And I can appreciate that. But yeah, y'all. As far as we know, if Marcel doesn't come out and say what needs to be said or if Tisha doesn't ask exactly or ask the right questions to get the right answers from Marcel, we cannot expect producers to get the answers for us by making anybody on the cast answer questions directly. They're going to answer the questions exactly as they come out, exactly as it is happening in real time. And, you know, I have to respect that. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Now that you guys have a little insight on how the show is made up and then Carlos's role as a producer, should we, like, DM him and add him on Twitter and make him ask the question? You know what? Maybe we can get Marcel on um Carlos's late night late night cap show that comes on after and maybe Carlos can ask him directly that way and see if we can get an answer maybe we get a petition started for that yeah how about let's let's do that because obviously he gonna keep skating around the the question and it really does make it interesting because like I said I feel like we know people that do stuff like that but anyway what do you guys think if you guys were in Tisha's shoes how would you ask Marso a question so he can answer it directly and then other than that we will talk again soon bye